The devil gets a new leader. The birds of prey are looking good. Something strange is happening to our doctor. Coming up on WHHW right now. Loading snacks. What it do, snackers and snack guests? It's your boy Gage. This is what it happened was. Hey! Hey! Last week's news. Let's go. It's over there somewhere. We got some things to discuss, do we not? We do. So let's do it. Hook me up. Number one. Awesome. Listen, um, in case you were unaware, Rod Ferguson just decided to tweet kind of out of nowhere that he is leaving the coalition and Microsoft slash Xbox Game Studios and moving over to Blizzard to lead the Diablo franchise. Now, huh. Good move, Rod. Good move. What about Gears? <laughs> My heart hurt a little bit. Listen. Gears, Gears 5, I would say it's pretty phenomenal. Agreed. Solid game that honestly probably deserved a little more praise and probably should have been in Game of the Year talks more than it was, I'm going to say. Okay. Gears 4, maybe not so much, but it was some work. You know, you're trying to follow up, get things together. You form a new studio to make this happen. You bring Rod in, who was part of Epic when that, you know, initial series of games hit, which is awesome. What's going to happen now? What does this mean for Gear 6? What do we think? I don't have a clue to be honest with you. Awesome. Jokes? I'm on the same I'm a little I'm a little worried, but I don't know. So behind this tweet, Cliff Blazinski, good old Cliffy B, tweets that his offer still stands to Microsoft to consult for gears. He says Rod and company Left a bunch of his ideas sitting on the cutting room floor. Now we know Cliff Blazinski was at the helm of Gears of War when Gears of War was the most poppinest thing popping. But he was. And I don't know if 2020, 2021, 2022 Gears is ready for Cliff 2008 <laughs> ideas. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. Like, I'm just... I don't know. I don't know if that's the right move. You know what I'm saying? I don't think Gears needs a whole new reboot. No. I think that they could maybe focus on one of the other characters now and just kind of see where the story takes us. I am currently more interested in what Rod Ferguson is going to do with the Diablo franchise. Yes, yes sir. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> and when I hear the word franchise, that says to me more than one game, mm -hmm. possibly eking out additional genres. I, we got Gears Tactics. We got Gears Pop. Mm -hmm. We're getting a Diablo Tactics. Possibly. A Diablo RTS? Diablo cell phone game? Diablo card game? I can see it. I can, I can see it. It's enough lore there. I need to know what you guys want to see Rob Ferguson do with the Diablo franchise. Drop your ideas in the comments below. In the meantime, hook me up. Number two! Birds of Prey. Harley Quinn and her immaculate emancipation of the emancipation of Harley Quinn and all her friends. Hey! It's a <laughs> lot of title in there somewhere. I'm not even going to try it. It's just this. No. <laughs> but, reviews are coming in. They're coming in hot. And they're coming in good. Hey! Cool! So, let me just, let's fill out the room. Expectations for this movie. Where were they? They were good. Okay. They were good. I was in the okay. I'm thinking it was gonna be okay. Nothing 
super amazing, I guess would be the way to say it, but okay. 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 Mm. You were good. Yeah. You were at okay. But none of us here were in the I need to get tickets and see it day before the actual day that it drops. Facts. We weren't in there. We right. weren't there. Right. Okay. Over the weekend for me, but I don't need to be there at midnight to go uh, see you it. Know, uh, you know. But normally, we do that. Mm -hmm. Is this directed specifically at this movie, or is this just us not having the faith in DC? With that one. Okay. I don't want to say not having faith, because I mean. No, I gotta go with that, because if it was Marvel, would have been there. I just know, I just know that for. I feel like I feel fact. the same way. Like I feel like. I want to wait. I don't know. know. Yeah. I don't think it was the faith part. Okay. Um, what was it for you? You just wasn't feeling. It was. Yeah, I, I wasn't feeling. Like, isn't that part of the same thing? Unfortunately. Does that fall into the same category? I mean. That's a little fire back there on the other side of the camera. Gosh. It's a little mm, so harsh. Um, yeah, I mean, I just, yeah, I mean, like if you, if you're watching it and you weren't feeling it, if the trailers didn't do anything for you, if whatever, like, isn't that kind of along the same lines of what we've been saying about a lot of the DC trailers and so forth leading into the films? Like, it just kind of like that faith. I feel like isn't there where like you felt like you could just take it on the announcement of the fact that they were doing it. So let's let's talk about it like this. Black Widow. Day one? Yeah. All right. Okay. Right? So, so yeah. I, I, I gotta know. But I'm hearing really good things about this. I'm hearing they John Wickified it. I can't wait. Mm, I can wait. Okay. Right now, with what I've seen, I'm underimpressed. Okay. And I'm picky. I'm so picky about stuff like that. I know. So I'm gonna hold obviously judgment until I get a chance to see it. But right now, I've judged based on what I have seen, and I haven't gone to see it yet, which normally would be a thing. Here's what I need to know: if you have seen it, whether you enjoyed it or not, I need to know, and I need to know why. Drop that in the comments below for me. I'll greatly appreciate that. In the meantime, hook me up. Number three. Speaking of going from DC to Marvel and how Marvel, we usually just day one. Let's talk about Doctor Strange and the multiverse of the madness of who is directing this joint and who is writing it. Because right now, Doctor Strange has no director. Okay? So, we lost a director like a month ago. However, that director stayed on as an executive producer. And the word on the street with a hard K, or C if you prefer, is that Sam Raimi is in talks to take over and direct this film. Now, jokes is dancing behind the camera right now. I assume that's good news to you? That's good news to me. Why? I don't know. Multiverse of Madness? Having him directed, do we actually maybe get to see his Spider-Man show up somehow? No. Hey, no. It may only be a picture. I don't know. But hey. Hey, you do the most dreaming. Listen, here's where I'm at. I got to do it. You do. Somebody has to. Somebody has to. I won't wake you. I'll be waking you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm waking you all the time. Uh, this, this is, here's the thing. People are excited because Sam Raimi probably for all intents and purposes, kicked off what superhero movies are now with the first Spider-Man trilogy, but also has a background with some horror films. And I don't want to like, I don't want to poo-poo that, but poo-poo, because, you know, like, while I had a certain amount of excitement for the idea that Doctor Strange 2 and the Multiverse of Madness was like leaning more towards a horror film, and other people seemed excited about that too. And then when this director was gone, it was like, all right, so what's gonna happen with that? Bringing Sam Raimi in and being excited that he has a background in horror, that's, it's kind of like corny horror, <laughs> though. It's not like really scary horror. It's like over the top, Ash vs. the Evil Dead kind of horror, which isn't the same thing. And 
I don't have the same faith that other people seem to have in Sam Raimi and his ability to direct a film like this with what I'm expecting to be heavy CG and more serious because I find that his work tends to lean more on the corny side whether you like it or not I don't think there's anybody that can argue that it tends to lean more towards the corny side um even when you go back you try to watch them y'all know how I feel about Spider-Man try to watch them first films now I like them I still like them I like Spider-Man 3 sue me but I'm concerned um what I have faith in is Kevin Feige and his team picking the right people to do the job that's what I have so if they settle on Sam Raimi I'm going to assume that they've seen something and they know things I don't know which is cool and Feige somebody better trust still need on the shirt so while I'm not overly excited about this I also know that they just hired a new director who's a new writer, a showrunner who does like Ricky Morty and some other stuff to come in and do some writing on this. Um, and it seems a little late because they're supposed to be starting like principal shooting like almost immediately. And the fact that they really leaned hard into the TV spots for like WandaVision and so forth, especially WandaVision because WandaVision is supposed to have an effect on or vice versa with Doctor Strange and they moved up the timeline for when that show is supposed to drop. And so that means to me that the gears are turning and they have some things in place, but timelines are so important in this kind of stuff and we just need to make sure that we, you know, cross all our T's and dot our I's and so forth because those of us who are paying attention will call you out call you out big friends having said that let me know what you think are you excited about sam raimi possibly taking over do you find his films corny from before and you know what i mean like i'm not saying bad i'm just saying corny which isn't always bad let me know in the comments below uh i need to make a move we have other things to do i appreciate all y'all for watching Love all y'all. Love our patrons. With that, I'm out. Toodles and loops. What it do, snackers and snackers? Did you like what you just saw? Would you like to help us grow? Here's what you can do. Shoot over to patreon.com forward slash loading snacks. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe on your favorite platform of choice. Appreciate you.